East Ward Council member Annette Scipio had to fight to hold back the tears the other day when she spoke in committee in favor of a resolution in which the city would apologize for its role in slavery and discrimination against black people. I met Scipio in front of the Forsyth County Sheriff's Office, which stands in the middle of what used to be a thriving black business district downtown. It was destroyed in the 1960s in what was called urban renewal. I got emotional because the pain that came with it is still very real, mm -hmm. though you can't live with that pain on the surface. I think about what people had to endure to survive and to exist in this country and yet believe, yet believe we are the same, mm -hmm. that we are as worthy. It really touched me. And then I thought about um, one of the things that really, really, really uh, is hurtful to me is the redevelopment that happened. Redevelopment not only took down this block, but this was after the neighborhoods were destroyed. Because mm -hmm. those are the neighborhoods I walked through. Those are the neighborhoods I had family members in. Those are the neighborhoods where my great aunt built her house in, in 1921, that we loved going to her house. And all of a sudden, when I read the journals accounts and the Sentinels accounts of that time, and to know that the city council openly declared all of East Winston a slum. Mm -hmm. How painful is that? There was no voice that said our houses mm -hmm. are important to us and should be preserved. It was preserved old Salem. I know what my family members had to go through. They buy their house, they live in it, raise their children, and then they're 70 years old and all of a sudden they've got to go and find another place to live. Mm -hmm. All of their memories are gone. And to know that bulldozers came in and just tore down all those neighborhoods with the people, the churches, there was nothing that survived mm -hmm. except a few, a few properties survived. So when you think about that, you say, wow, um, haven't seen it, it's, it's, it's real. It's not something that somebody said, oh, it didn't happen. No, it was real, and it's real to me. So, yeah, it made me, a, to see that resolution was like, um, wow. For us, for this city to, to take that resolution and ask, apologize, is a big deal. Mm -hmm. It's a big deal. I'm Wes Young, reporting for the Winston-Salem Journal.